What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to show you the most standard shot in photography. It's the tabletop shot, the top down shot. And today I'm gonna to be photographing this little Simpsons pin uh, by a buddy's company of mine called Laszlo & Co. Um, so let me show you the gear I used and we'll get right into the lighting setup. The camera that I'm using is a Sony a7R II with a Sony 50 millimeter 1.8 lens on it. I'm using a newer Vision 4 strobe with a newer softbox on it. And I'm also using some of these Pocket Wizard Plus 2s. It allows me to transmit uh, the, the signal from the strobe to the camera and let me sync them together. And lastly, I am using just your standard reflector bounce uh, shoot through material on the right side, but you don't really need that. You can use a piece of white paper if you want. All right, guys, the most important part, the lighting setup. Uh, this is about as simple as you get. One light, a uh, little bit of space you need, maybe just a desk like this, and you're set. It's really just how you use the light, how you position it, and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and set up that main light, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. All right, so told you, super simple, one light, but don't get tricked. There's a few really, really essential things you need to do when you use one light to get the most out of it, the best quality of light. And one of those things is actually getting the light as close to your subject as possible. The closer the light can be, the better quality it's gonna be. Uh, if I were to move this back another foot or two, the light's gonna tend to get a little more contrasty and it's not gonna be your typical beautiful soft light that you want. So really get it close. I have a feeling uh, for a lot of you guys that don't use strobes a lot and have been trying to get into them, you're running into this problem. You, t you buy all the good gear, you buy the nicest lights, and you go ahead and turn them on and you take a photo and you're, it just kind of doesn't look great. It just looks really harsh and you regret buying all that gear. But it's probably the way that you're using it. Lights with soft boxes, if you use the edge of it, uh, the edge of the light tends to be the softest part of the light. So what I'm gonna wanna do is called feathering and it just lets you take a couple shots and bring this up, bring this up and don't necessarily point the light right at the product. Let it skim over the top and you'll find that you have a lot better results. So let's go ahead and set up that bounce right here. All right, cool. So we have the bounce set up, we have our main light set up. So what's happening here again one more time is when I go ahead and take a photo, this transceiver is gonna trigger my main strobe. It's gonna throw most of the main light down on here and any other light is gonna reflect off this white surface and bounce into the shadows there. And it's gonna fill in some detail and give the camera some light in the shadows. All right, cool. So let's talk about camera settings. Uh, since we are shooting with strobes, my shutter speed is gonna be at 1 25th of a second, f3.2. And I wanna keep the best quality possible. So I'm gonna shoot at 100 ISO. So are we ready to go ahead and take a photo here? So obviously a really, really simple shot, um, but sometimes that's all you need. And sometimes that's all the client is actually requesting. They don't want a lot of styling. They just want the product to be photographed well and to uh, get it out there on Instagram or on their web store or whatever it may be. But uh, there's actually a lot that you can do with this setup. So things that I like to think about uh, when I want to uh, add a little more creativity to these kind of shots is background texture and complementary colors. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you learned something. I hope this helped you kind of feel a little more comfortable with shooting tabletop stuff, because I think if you're a professional creative, whether you're working in photography or uh, filmmaking, tabletop shots is one of those standard go-to kind of shots that you need in almost every kind of piece of content that you're producing. So it's really good to have uh, this knowledge and these tools in your tool chest, so to speak. All right, guys, that's really about it. Make sure to hit subscribe and like, and I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.